Howdy from Arlington, Texas, y'all. I hope this video finds you well. So, uh, it's TTM Tuesday. I got a couple of TTMs to show, and this might be the last one for a little bit. I didn't realize until I went to log these in Star Tiger, I only have one other TTM out, and who knows if that one will ever come back. It's to Michael Andretti, and the Andrettis are not the... Uh, they're not the most reliable on uh, sending stuff back, so we'll see how that goes. Um, wanted to start out just by saying thank you to everyone that watches my videos, and a special thank you to everyone that comments on my videos. Um, you know what? Probably all of us have been through this at some point. You just you feel like when you do videos that you're doing them for yourself because you get like 17 views or 23 views and you know it's frustrating to see you know people that have a thousand subscribers and they get less comments than you but they have like a, like I said like a thousand subscribers or more or some of these counts and it just seems like that it's very clickish in the YouTube community and maybe I'm guilty of that too because I do have my own little group of guys that you know comments on my videos and chats and stuff like that but I just want to say thank you to everyone that's taken the time you know to, to view to like and especially if you've commented and we've chatted and you know I've built some friendships through this because it is uh it is it is kind of disheartening sometimes and it just it doesn't you know when you're already not feeling like making videos uh which you know i know that a lot of us have felt lately with all happening um you know when you feel like you're not not gonna ever be one of the cool kids like it just it doesn't give you any additional motivation to uh to make videos so i do appreciate everyone that comments anyway i'm gonna shut up now um, something I've been intending to do and have failed is start trying to give a shout out in videos to people. So in front of you, you'll see Michael Myers. If you're watching this and you like this TTMs, he does a ton of TTMs, 615 subs, but I just recently found his channel. I can't remember how I can't remember if it was cause he subbed to me or I subbed to him, but, uh, you know, we definitely, uh, comment on each other's videos and uh he's been uh i've had a lot of fun interacting with him so i definitely suggest uh or recommend going and checking out his channel and i will put a link below to that so two ttms today um the first one hey let's play let's play a game here see if you can figure out who it is so I, this one was three of three in 12 days. These came back early in the month, but I didn't want to do a TTM video for just one TTM, so I haven't. So here were my notes. He was a pit reporter for CART, the Indy Racing League, NASCAR from 84 to 2009. All but one of those was with the ESPN ABC group. Uh, and during the racing offseason, he's also a was a college football sideline reporter and I saw that apparently he did at least one NFL game uh, later on in the last handful of years um, he was on Sirius XM he was on the college football channel and had an afternoon show that I loved and actually when they canceled that show I got rid of Sirius XM I was that pissed because I loved his college football show that much and I think he may be doing a NASCAR show now if he's not now uh, doing the show with Chocolate Myers who you've actually seen in a not yesterday's mail video but there was actually a chocolate myers card in the one from a few weeks ago but anyway i'll give you five seconds to see if you can figure out who this is five four three i'm looking at you two one jackaroot so you may or may not uh know who Jack Root is my two biggest sports passions are racing specifically IndyCar and college football and the other stuff I just really don't have that much interest in 
and he had done both of those as you had seen um and he's one of the voices of my youth uh, i've mentioned a bunch of times i'm sure you know i grew up we only had like four or five channels we kind of lived out in the sticks no cable so most of my sports came through the radio and so i'm used to listening and voices and things like that um now he was like i said with abc espn so i would hear him on abc um but yeah one of the voices of my youth so i wanted to go get that so that is a 1991 max card um You'll be seeing some more of that on my channel in the future. And then this card, um, I actually ordered all of these from Sport Lots, and I think I paid, you know, with shipping, I paid less than two bucks because I just did plain white envelope shipping. But I had looked at some cards of him on Calm C to kind of see what would look good, and I thought this card was awesome. Look at all that white space for signatures. And then I kind of like that the name is in script as well. So this is 97 Fleer Ultra update of NASCAR. But he signed two copies of that. And to me, like I said, that looks like a card that was meant for an autograph. So I absolutely love that. Um, so thank you, Mr. Arude, if by some chance you see this, which I'm sure you won't. But um, he did sign three of three in 12 days for me. So the other one, I wasn't even going to do this video, but the other one came back today. Um, I'm recording this on Monday evening. Um, this was one of the first few I sent out. I would say this was the second least likely t of me to get back. Um, but I did see he had a history of returning them, but I know from listening uh, to Donald Davidson, the Indianapolis... Uh, Motor Speedway historian on his radio shows, listening to him talk, and then also knowing that Gordon John Cock, ah, I just ruined it. It's Gordon John Cock, wah, wah, wah. So we're not going to do the little tease game again. Um, he's a, a little bit reclusive. He likes to just stay up on his farm in Michigan. He did not actually attend the 100th running of the Indy 500 or the 100th anniversary, one of the two races. Uh, they were doing big celebrations for both, which, you know, pretty much all the former drivers went to. Um, so, but he did, does return autographs. So I was optimistic from that standpoint. But two of two for Mr. Jordan Gon John Gordon Johncock, who I believe is 84 years old now. I mean, these cards are from 83 and 84, you know, and he was already into his, you know, 50s or late 40s, early 50s at this point. So two of two there. Give you a quick little bio on Gordon Johncock, and I will get this over with. Uh, so Gordon Johncock ran 24 Indianapolis 500 races. His first two starts, which were in 1965 and 66, he finished fifth and fourth. Pretty, pretty nice start. But the next six starts... Um, were all out of the top 10. I think two were in the teens somewhere, and the others were 20th or worse, you know, in just a 33 uh, car starting field. Um, but then at, after those six, he won in 1973. Unfortunately, it was overshadowed. His teammate, uh, Swede Savage, was severely injured in a wreck during the race. And one of Savage's crewmen was killed when he was struck by a fire truck going up the wrong way in the pits. Um, the crewman was killed, and unfortunately, Savage died about a month later. Um, so, obviously, it was a very shortened, uh, very abbreviated celebration in Victory Lane. And then he, after the race, went to see Savage, who, as I said, passed about a month later. Um, that was 73. He won again in 1982. At the time, it was the closest finish of all time in the Indianapolis 500, and it's still, to this day, the fourth closest. Um, 1991 race morning, he had flu-like symptoms, uh, but finished sixth in the Indianapolis 500, and he was 54 years old. So, I'm 41, yeah, that's, that's, I'm sorry. Flu-like symptoms, finished sixth in the Indianapolis 500 at 54. 
Yeah, I, I got no words for that. And then uh, 1992 uh, was his final 500. So Mr. John Cox signed two of two. I don't know if he has a limit. I tend to look at how many other he's signing for others. If he's signed to like five or six, then maybe I'll send four if I have cards because I think I had a couple more cards of him. But I believe I was seeing he was, you know, nobody had really sent him more than two, so I, I don't like to press it. I don't want to be that guy. But two of two in 33 days, Mr. Jordan. Jordan Goncock. Why do I keep saying that? Gordon Johncock. As you can tell, y'all, I don't edit these. I just, I just let it ride. Um, I don't need perfection because this is how I talk in real life. But anyway, thanks for checking it out. Uh, go check out Michael Myers' page if you like what I'm doing. Um, hopefully you'll give me a uh, like, uh, a subscription if you haven't already, and maybe a comment. But anyway, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you down the road.